Tell us about yourself. My name is uh, AJ Hawks. I was uh, currently number one, well, half of number one contenders for the uh, RCW Tag Team Championships. Uh, number one contenders half, again, for the PWK Tag Team Championships. Uh, but currently on the shelf right now, recovering broken femur. What made you want to become a pro wrestler? Uh, I was going to say, um, just uh, seeing it since I was young. I was very, very young when I was exposed to wrestling. I'd probably say like five or six or so. And that was uh, during the 90s, a lot of people leading to the Attitude Era. Everybody says like the golden age of wrestling. And then it was just a fasc fascination from there, um, just seeing a lot of the people that I enjoyed and seeing how just like every everything was like so surreal. So like, uh, you know, uh, beyond reality. I guess you could say, and it just drew me in, and it's been forever since. Who trained you? Um, I originally went into training when I was 19. I used to live in New York, and uh, the person that trained me was the uh, greatest wrestler ever in the history of the Indies, Chuck Taylor. And then um, moving into the Midwest, I needed to go find another, another home, so to speak, but um, originally trained with Chuck Taylor, and then I met everybody in PWK, and it's been um, the PWK uh, faithful Noah Walker and uh, Kevin Storm that have uh, taken me under their wing to continue the rest of my training. Who are your favorite wrestlers growing up? Favorite wrestlers growing up, uh, Brian Pillman. Definitely, um, definitely a favorite of mine, just how crazy he was, just how uh, he was able to captivate everybody with everything he's done. Owen Hart, he's Honestly, a lot of unpopular opinion, but uh, he's my favorite of the two hearts, honestly. Um, I liked him a little bit more in the ring. I liked how he was just able to do like all kinds of technical things like that. Um, and then I guess uh, Chuck Taylor. <laughs> What's the craziest experience you've had as a pro wrestler? Craziest experience, um, I guess, would have been uh, my very first uh, serious wrestling injury. Um, before this one, I stated I was going... Um, I was doing a opening match at a fed out in New York and I was going for a finish at my time which was a double stomp off top rope and I tweaked my knee coming down as I had missed my opponent and I'd been out with a knee injury I was out with a knee injury for about a year and I was gonna say that was I, was, I guess crazy <laughs> <laughs> okay besides a knee injury and a femur injury have you had any other pro wrestling related oh, yes. injuries uh, the, the, and it's funny though the knee and the femur are both on the same leg too the left leg just recovering from that this this guy's been through a lot of work <laughs> um i've dislocated my shoulder a couple of times chipped a tooth uh i did dental insurance hard to come by um and a couple of concussions but i mean honestly nothing super life-threatening i would say what advice do you have for people that want to become a pro wrestler? Um, find a good school. Find somebody that's uh, you know willing to train you, but don't go to uh, don't go to like a podunk guy hole in the wall place. Um, find somebody reputable. Find somebody with experience. Find somebody that has a lot to uh, lot to give you, as not just physically like with physical gifts, but also um, knowledge knowledge of the sport, knowledge of pro wrestling. Be able to pick somebody's mind, be able, anytime you are in the locker room with a veteran, somebody that you know, whether it's been on TV or just in your local indie scene that you know has been around the block more than once, definitely sit down, take the time to talk with them, hear stories, hear advice. Um, anytime somebody critiques you, take it with a grain of salt. Don't, don't get mad. Don't get mad because everything is always a learning experience. There's always an opportunity to get better. And when you think that you've known everything in the business, you might as well hang them up there because nobody ever finishes learning. So just keep learning. Just keep learning. Okay, thanks.